Hello Mickey, it's Ray from Arlington Toyota. Hey, I wanted to shoot this quick video. I'm gonna go over a few different vehicle options with you and explain to you a little bit of the differences between them. Now that I've had a chance to read that email, I've got a much better idea what you're trying to get and what you're looking to accomplish. So I'm gonna give you a look at the hatchbacks, the crossovers, and the RAV4s. So you can take a look at all three of them, understand a little bit better what they'll do for you uh, and what might be the better vehicle for you to focus in on. The main thing is I want you to understand we're going to work out the best deal we can for you on any vehicle you select. So the biggest thing we need to do is have you come on in here, take a look at them, and pick the right car out. So let's take a look at what we got. First up is the 2018 Toyota CHR. That stands for Coupe High Rider. A lot of people think this is a hatchback. This is actually classified as a compact crossover, uh, although it does resemble a hatchback in the rear. Now, you keep, you had mentioned a couple of times in the email that all-wheel drive was very, very important to you. Now, here's what I want you to understand in that fashion. A front-wheel drive vehicle is 80, has 80% 80 of the capability of an all-wheel drive vehicle. So, you're not really giving up much going to a front-wheel drive. You lose a lot of control on a rear-wheel drive vehicle, all right? But front-wheel drive has 80% of the capabilities of all-wheel drive. Now the CHR, again, this is the compact crossover. This is only available in all wheel drive. This is, I believe, one of the vehicles you're referring to. The second vehicle is this one right here. That is a hatchback. That is the Corolla IM. I'm also thinking you were, you had said something about there was a new one coming out in 2019. This is the Corolla IM right here. This is the, this is a hatchback. Now, this is probably the one you were thinking about for 2019. This is getting uh, a redesign, and it's going to be renamed the Corolla Hatchback. It's going to be this car with a slight redesign, and it's going to be called the Corolla Hatchback. Now, out of the three cars I'm going to show you, this will be the most affordable. And you don't really have to wait for the 19. I've got it right here now. It's just going to be a slight redesign, same car, and they're going to rename it. So, again, this is the Corolla IM hatchback. This again is only available in front or front wheel drive. So for the IM hatchback and the CHR, the Coupe High Rider, those are only front wheel drive vehicles. Once again, they're still 80% the capability of all wheel drive. All right, now we're gonna take a look at the third. All right, now moving into the third and final vehicle I wanted to talk about. As I said just before, the front wheel drive Corolla IM is the most reasonably priced vehicle we talked about. This is the RAV4 LE, and you actually have three options on this one. So even on the LE, there's three different ways we can talk about it. The one you're looking at right now is the front wheel drive gas model LE. So this is the most reasonably priced RAV4. This is also available in all wheel drive. So the RAV4 LE can come front wheel drive, want to spend a little bit extra make sure you get the all-wheel drive despite the fact that it's only doing about 20 percent more for you that is available to you so you can get this in all-wheel drive or front-wheel drive now i don't know your driving habits so i do want to introduce you to one more vehicle and that is the hybrid le le rav4 now the hybrid le's are all all-wheel drive they don't come any other way and the way i wanted to bring that to you is if you're going to go with an all-wheel drive for sure even in the RAV4 LE. The difference between the all-wheel drive LE and the hybrid LE is really about $700. This one will be, this hybrid would be about $700 more. The reason you might want to consider it, if you do a lot of city driving, a lot of city driving, you're going to get about 30% better fuel economy on your city driving, where the gas model is ranked at, rated at 23 miles for the gallon city, this is rated at 34. So that's a pretty substantial increase for just $700. Maybe it's worth it to you, maybe it's worth not. I just wanted to get it out there. So these are really the four, three, three different cars, and then you got three different versions on the RAV4 that I wanted to go over with you. And I've got a lot of them here. We've got plenty of RAV4s. I think I've got 60 or 70 of them on grounds right now. Got quite a few IMs uh, and a good handful of CHRs. So I have plenty of all three in stock. Once again, I want to urge you, Mickey, we're gonna work out the best deal we can for you on whichever vehicle you select. I think the more important part is for you to come in, 
take one for a ride and find out which one's perfect for you. Please give me a call, send me an email. My number is 904-671-5155, or if you still wanna go with email, that's fine, I'll work with you that way too. But again, a phone call can fix a lot of things. My number again is 904-671-5155. Thank you.